Right, so this is the second part of the lesson on negative numbers, part two. And I want to talk about multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So here's the rules. So if I've got a minus and a minus, that's plus. And if I've got a plus and a minus, it's minus. If I've got a minus and a plus, it's minus. And a plus and a plus is plus. Right, so I want to do three examples on how we times numbers. Right, we've got 3 times minus 2. We know that 3 times 2 is 6. But over here, if we look at the rules, we've got a plus times a minus. And it says that that's a minus. Okay, so 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Right. Next one we want to do is minus 5 times minus 4. Now we know that 5 times 4 is 20. But is it a plus or minus? Well, we'll look at the rules again. The rule says that a minus times a minus is plus. So minus 5 times minus 4 is 20. Right. One more example now. I've got minus 8 times 6. We know that minus eight we know that eight times six is forty-eight. But now we need to look over here and see whether it's a plus or a minus. We've got a minus times a plus. And here our rule says that it's a minus times a plus is a minus. Okay, so it's minus forty-eight. Right, now we're gonna talk about dividing negative numbers so here's the rule so if we've got a negative time divided by a negative it's plus if we've got a plus divided by a negative it's negative a negative divided by a plus is negative and a plus divided by a plus is positive okay so here i've got 15 divided by minus 3 and we know that 15 divided by 3 is 5 now all we need to do is look at the rules to see if it's plus or minus. We've got a plus divided by minus here and it says over here that a plus divided by minus is is negative. So that's minus 5. Now we've got minus 20 divided by 4. We know that 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now we'll look at the rules. We'll see that by looking at the rules that a minus divided by a plus is negative. So the answer is minus 5 again. Okay. Next one. We've got minus 36 divided by minus 9. We know that 36 divided by 9 is 4. So now we'll look at the rules to see if it's a plus or a minus. And it says that the minus divided by a minus is positive. So that's plus 4. Okay. And you can also see that from the rules here, plus times a plus is plus. So we know that 3 times 3 is plus 9. But also minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. Because 2 minuses. Make a positive as well. Okay, so that's just an interesting thing that you should know when dealing with square roots later on. But when we use this sign for the square root, it always means the positive square root. So if I said the square root of 9, would put 3, not minus 3, because this sign means the positive root. Okay, so that's all I want to say about negative numbers.